Hello and welcome to another video of beginners tutorial series and in this video we will discuss two list functions list.count and list.distinct so we are trying to know how much is the count and uh, what are the number of distinct elements so let's quickly jump onto the power bi so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a little bit of data also for this so i go to enter data and let me create quickly a list which should contain some duplicate elements so i'll say one one let's say two two three three and let me just can uh, create this one and let me call it as data two and let me do edit so that i directly reach the power query or the transform data mode instead of going this so let's first of all understand how does list dot count works and list dot contain works so what we are going to do is uh, we are not going to use this column right now uh, instead of that we just going to create a simple column and then try to use the list operator and then we say so let's say list count and let's try to say list dot count and in this one we give a list so i give manually gives a list one two three comma four so four elements because four are there now let's go ahead and try to little bit to modification here can i give a empty elements here so it's not allowing me can me can i write down a null here okay so it's counting the null i am able to write down a null it's counting the null also and here uh, when we load it it actually does not load it that null row it's automatically uh, removed that one so no problem we'll we'll try to have it uh, somewhere in the middle let's see now so we know how the list dot count works let's say how dot list dot distinct work so let's create a new column also so list okay so we go here and we say list dot distinct okay so we say list dot distinct and then we give a list and let's first of all give distinct elements only 1 comma 2 comma 3 So it's going to give us a list and we will we can check out that list it's one two three let let me go and click here and so so we need to count this basically first of all we need to so we this is a list and we go do a count list dot count and we got a distinct list and we count that okay that's how we are going to do so three elements we should go to all three same same operation we are repeating across the rows so there's no difference now we go ahead and here we add three again so still we are getting three because we have not repeated the same number so distinct is going to give us same number now what would have happened if we were repeated here let's say we go and repeat something here let's go and repeat four here in the first list it do increase the number now what we are going to do uh, we have not got a blank row so we go back to the source double click here we insert a row and then we insert one more row and then let's say we write down four here and say okay now we got an empty list also here empty uh, column now how to use this column so we want to use let's say this column instead of the list so i go here uh, right click on the table name and i go to the advanced editor and if i, I found out the table name just before this one so i got this table name and i cancel it i go to add column and instead of the list what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the call table name and the column name so this is how when you want a list you just put the table name and the column name table name should be coming from the last step whatever was the there now I'm going to use the same one in next two step but ideally you should be using step by step last step so let me say if I give this as a list and, and is it able to count that so yes it's counting all the elements it is even counting the null also now let's go ahead and uh, see uh, so now this is the count of the rows now we want a distinct count so how do how we have done distinct count so in the distinct count what we have done what first we have taken the distinct of the list and then we counted so let's give the list here also the column so we give the table name and we say column one so column one we are saying create the distinct list out of the column one and then count it so let's see what happens so we are getting five let's say how we got five one two for this one three four and five so we got five distinct members out of this eight rows so we are getting list dot distinct as five so list dot distinct is only give, giving us distinct list okay but what we have done is we put a count on top of it uh, and trying to get so in this way you can loop 
this one operation inside another operation or basically you can uh, have one a function inside another function uh, so you can create um, uh, like you know these complex operations by using more than one function so we have used here list dot distinct and list dot count so go ahead and try these things out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series thanks for watching this video thank you